2014, Cindy and I decided to take three weeks off and head west. Our boat then was Renovatio, a 32 foot Bavaria. We used to lean her up against the piles, scrub the bottom off, change the anodes, all on one tide. It looks a bit precarious, but it's really quite safe, as long as you know what you're doing. In those days, we had a river mooring, on a pontoon, in Ferrum Creek, at Wicker Marine. It's a great marina, I'd recommend it to anyone. To get out, you used to have to go down through Portsmouth Harbour, past all the marinas and the Spinnaker Tower, the historic dockyards, and then turn sharply to starboard to come out of Portsmouth Harbour. Once clear of the harbour entrance, we'd follow the Solent down with the tide to Yarmouth. Yarmouth's a great place. We always pick up a boy just outside the harbour entrance and wait for the tide to take us out through the needles. We went to bed early because we had to get up early in the morning to catch the tide out through the needles. To get the best advantage from the tide, we had to leave at 4 o'clock the following morning. We left Yarmouth, out through the Needles, past Hearst Castle, past the fam famous lighthouse, and then taking advantage of the tide, over St Albans ledges, and across the bay. It's about 80 miles. Our first stop was Dartmouth. We love Dartmouth. Always go back there. It never ceases to amaze me how blue the waters around this area are. We travelled up the river, avoiding the marinas, to our favourite point at Ditcham, where we picked up a mooring boy. Another gorgeous spot. As you can see on the chart, it gets quite shallow up at Ditcham. But again, if you know what you're doing and you pick the right tides, it's a fantastic place. Peaceful, quiet, lovely, absolutely lovely. Here's us going up the river. I'm sorry the video quality isn't that good, but in them days, we just used to use the iPhone. And of course, we were racing the steam train, but he got away from us. We spent a quiet afternoon just fishing, relaxing and watching the sunset. What a gorgeous spot. Why would you want to be in a marina when you can be out here? It's fantastic. But early to bed, early to rise as they say, as again the following morning we were up early. The next morning we were up early and off to Salcombe. You have to get it right going into Salcombe. There's a tidal bar just outside the harbour entrance and it's pretty shallow. We'd had a fantastic sail round and a really great day. It was still quite early. We decided to head up the river and pick up a mooring further up at the bag. As we came into the inlet there was a traditional barge coming the other way. He too was timing his exit over the bar to get the most depth under his keel. Salcombe actually isn't an estuary, it's just an inlet that fills at each high tide. Salcombe has a fantastic yacht club and visiting yacht owners are welcome to eat and drink there. It's not far from the harbour and pretty easy to get to. You can take the water taxi or your own dinghy from the mooring or from the pontoons further up the harbour and it's just a short walk up to the yacht club on the hill. It's great views, great food and great company. I recommend it to anyone.
in our next video we continue our quest west but just so you uh, get an idea of where we were heading here's a short teaser if you like our videos please like and subscribe in part two we will show you where we ended up safe sailing Ant and Sid